what are the greatest challenges and opportunities before us as a national church and for your region specifically as we move forward into 2010? Well, I think as far as the nation um, in general and the local region in, in particular, um, there, is, there seems to be a vacuum um, out there now that needs to be filled in terms of a church that is talking about real life situations, um, being able to put together some programs and the structures to speak to those. Uh, most people are not really content with just being able to go to church, um, hear a lot of you know the hooping and the hollering, which is good if it has substance. Um, but uh, too often um, we are high on one end and then low on the other end. So I think the shrine is very much positioned to bring a solid the theological framework to this 21st century reality that we face as a group of people, both on a national level as well as on a local level. And we can take advantage of the, um, should I say, the, the branding, if you will, of the Shrine of the Black Madonna as a place where you come for um, theological insight. And thus it provides an opportunity to then link with um, the young emerging, if you will, um, black theologians who are also pushing back at traditional um, Christian thought um, and also challenging us on things of ethics and social responsibility, which has always been a hallmark um, of the Pan-African Orthodox Christian Church. So it provides an enormous opportunity for us to engage in discourse um, in terms of uh, uh, biblical studies and how that applies to our community. And I think the shrine is very much positioned because of the rich theological foundation our founder Jeremiah Baby Ajiman said, and that our current Holy Patriarch Jeremiah Kimathi continues to build upon. So I think it's a great opportunity for us to engage in a discourse that is shaping black thought, black consciousness, and the black experience the world over.